monotheistic religion uh, in terms of how we believe in God. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you follow any faith? Are you a Christian? I am. Can I grab one? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. And I'm sure you know it, right? Yeah. Do you know the concept of God in Islam or? Uh, unity. Or, yeah. Um, I don't remember the word. There's an Arabic word for it. I don't remember. Allah. Allah the creator, mm -hmm. we say. So we say, we say Allah is the one yeah. who's self-sufficient, means he's perfect all the time. He's not perfect and imperfect at the same time. Yeah. So we say he doesn't have a son, neither he has father. And there is nothing you can see in the creation or you know that can, you can compare to him. Basically nothing comparable to him. Yeah. How does that sound? Not too far away. Only the difference in terms of persons and yeah. defining persons. So how do you see Jesus? Uh, like how do we understand him? Yeah. As a, well, I'm not a theologian. Mm. Um, so I'm reluctant to speak. I'm, uh, I don't like blasphemy. Mm -hmm. um, but look, you know, we live in 21st century. Everyone is welcome to, you know, have their view. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Feel free, you know, share. We don't mind, you know. Is there um, in Islam, um, I came across an idea that some people believe that Jesus was a prophet and that he would come back at the yeah. end times yeah. when... Um, What's his name? The, the false prophet at the end times. In so Islam. basically, he will come in end time, and he, you know, he will reject those people who worshipped him, and he will break the cross. Do Muslims believe in the virgin birth? In uh, Jesus's mother giving birth yes, to the virgin? Yes. We do. Yes. Interesting. Um, and what's the name of the, the the deceiver in the end times in Islam? The Jal, we call it. Dajjal. The, Dajjal, Dajjal. Dajjal. Yeah, yes. yeah. So basically, what we say, let me, so we believe virgin birth of Jesus. Mm. And we, I mean, if you look at Adam, Adam Allah, the, the creator of the heavens and the earth, mm. make him without parents. So yeah. Adam was created from no parents. Yeah, from earth. And yes, exactly. And um, Eve, the Hawa, we call it. So Allah made from a man, without a woman, yeah. So if Allah can do, now imagine Adam was created without man and a woman. Eve was created without a woman. Then the only possibility left, can Allah make a man without father? And then Jesus, the approval. So that shows that the ability of the creator, that he can create in different ways right so he's how um and then we we are created normal process through our parents right how are humans reconciled post fall to god in islam i don't understand your question sorry so after the fall we become separate from god and become fallen and we suffer from passions from greed and lust and these sorts of things how does islam yeah that's a good question. How you go back to God? So basically, uh, the ultimate uh, plan of the Creator is to test you. Mm. So Allah tells us in this Quran chapter, let me show you, yeah? This is on Surah Al Insan, yeah? So Allah is telling us Has there come upon man a period of time when he was not a thing even mentioned? So Allah talks about our pre-existence, before our existence. Mm. So one point of time, like 50 years ago, we both are non-existent. Yeah. So Allah remind us a time we are not existent, not in the scenario of this world, right? Mm. And then Allah said, we have, we created man from a sperm, sperm dog mixture. So Allah talks about um, Amshaz, the man and the woman when the, the fluid mix together. Mm. And then Allah said, Nabtalihi. Then Allah said, I try him. And we made him hearing and seeing. So Allah talks about how he built up hearing and seeing. So the whole purpose, Allah said in another place in the Quran, that jinna wal insa illa So Allah created mankind and jinn kind to worship him. So the whole point of test. And the test is Allah giving you that free will. There are things 
already ordained for you something and there are things you can make choice for example the things ordained for you is your family god has chosen which family you will born yeah. god has chosen which country you will born right how will you look like and everything yeah. there are certain things allah has given you free will means you know you can make your decision and then every decision you make there is a consequences yeah. so similarly allah when you came to this universe the first point you would ask that why i'm doing here what is my purpose yeah so the creator is telling us that in order to define that purpose you cannot define your own purpose it is yeah, the us yeah exactly so that's what allah saying that allah sent messengers and the books to tell us what is our purpose and then allah saying you know i have created mankind and jinn to worship me means submit and surrender to me yeah. and Islam often talks about false God and false ideas and we are you know we call a pure monotheism because we disassociate with the false ideas and the false notion of God mm. yeah. so we cannot say we that's why it is important to find out who the God is first otherwise your worship can be misdirected yeah that's the main issue yeah so that's why we critique the belief like for example if someone say God is three in one I would say okay Jesus if you say God can do anything I agree with you but I disagree with you that God can do ungodly things for example if yeah. you say God can God come to earth I say yes why not but does it suit him to come no because he will be coming to the realm of imperfection yeah. So where the imper but he is maximally perfect. How can can you can you be a married bachelor? No, no, you can't. You and, see. Uh, well, I mean, in a lot of Western Christianity, Protestants and Catholics, they yeah. they try and turn this into a science, which in the East has never been considered that way. So I'm an Orthodox Christian. I go to a Greek church, and um, you know we refer to these things as mysteries because they're, because they're divine. It's a logical fallacy. It's not mystery because. Would you think the creator of the heavens and the earth, he create you with rationality and then he will present you an irrational argument? An irrational? So, you know you are a rational person. You cross the road when you, you apply your rationality, all this sensory tool within you. Yeah. Now, the same creator when send a religion, do you think the same creator will send a religion which will mystery to you or something you can logically comprehend uh, to some yes to some extent you see so it's, it's contradiction to understand the, you know, the awe that God has uh, sorry I'm getting a phone call no problem um, take it very nice to speak to you but shall I share with you let me show you the message you know I know you are in rush yeah but you know but your mystery will be solved one thing for sure one day be for sure one day for sure i'll tell you why because jesus was never preaching this message i believe jesus message is hijacked okay. he never people what he never tell people to worship me instead he tell people even in the bible you will see passage there clearly you know jesus tell people to worship allah but anyway look after yourself